This video is designed to help you start a franchise business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a franchise business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful franchise business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Although the success rate for franchise business is significantly better than for many other startup businesses, success is not guaranteed. One of the biggest mistakes that you can make is to be in a hurry to get into managing a franchise opportunity. If you shortcut your evaluation of a potential business franchise, you might neglect to consider other franchises that are more suitable for you. Don't be pressured into a franchise that is not right for you. Although most franchises are managed by reputable individuals, as in all industries, some are not. Also, some franchises could be poorly managed and financially weak. This video is designed to assist you in investigating your options and get you all the business franchise information you need. Starting a franchise comes with the benefit of starting a business with pre-existing brand recognition, processes, and plans. In many ways, a lot of the work is already done for you with a franchise, however, that doesn't mean that starting a franchise is easy. Since franchisees have to pay a portion of their profits to the franchisor, you have to add more costs to whatever your budget projections are. You're also beholden to a brand's standards, which you're unable to change too much. This lack of control can be hard for entrepreneurial thinkers. Common types of franchises. Food and drink. The franchise you've probably engaged with as a customer the most often, is a restaurant or food store. If you have a favorite fast food restaurant or convenience store to pick up snacks, you might have some fun ideas for a franchise location. McDonald's. KFC, Jersey Mike's, Business Services. If you've been to UPS or any company that lets you get things you need to do business, you're probably familiar with this kind of franchise business. Express Employment Professionals, Real Property Management, Fast Signs, Health and Fitness. Many successful gyms are franchise businesses. They provide a regular service that people need and can also give a sense of community and consistency for people moving to new cities, especially those that provide group fitness classes. Healthcare organizations can also be franchises. If you're interested in providing healthcare services, you can look into companies that provide home nurses or professional consultations. Planet Fitness. The Vitamin Shop. Home Helpers Home Care. Retail. Of course, many well-known retail stores across the country are in fact franchises. Edible Arrangements. Pet Supplies Plus. Apricot Lane Boutique and more. Franchise businesses are common all over the country. Whatever business you're interested in, you can probably find a franchise that has successfully created a niche in the market. Lapels Dry Cleaning. Supercuts. LA Bikini. The great advantage of a franchise is not starting from scratch. You have the branding and design concepts ready to go, and you get to focus on the important operational aspects of the business. The franchisor also has existing vendors, so you don't have to research providers and work out contracts with them. In some cases, you won't be able to choose your own vendor for a franchise business. However, the con is that you won't have as much creative control with the business. If you're invested in designing your own brand identity and taking control of the product design, a franchise might not be the right choice. There are several steps to start a franchise after you decide to pursue this business. From picking to getting a license, to securing space, you have to plan this process ahead of time to stick to the franchisor's standards. Research franchises. You can find franchise opportunities on websites like Franchise Direct. It categorizes franchises by industry, working from home, and lower cost ones. These are the key points to keep in mind when you're picking a franchise opportunity industry fees, liquid capital is needed, average monthly slash yearly revenue, royalty fees, marketing fees other fees. Evaluate opportunities. Before you start a franchise business, you should make sure that one doesn't already exist in the area. Although there are some businesses that can exist throughout a city, such as Dunkin' Donuts, you want to make sure you're not setting up a competitive location that could underperform. Evaluate costs. When you're looking into starting a franchise business, you'll have to be on top of a few different costs. In addition to regular business costs, such as rent and maintenance, you have to pay a yearly royalty to the franchisor. Other costs include travel, training with the company, and paying some local taxes to start your business. Business plan. Even though many aspects of the business are already defined, you're in charge of the most important aspects of the business. When you write your business plan, 
you can outline why you would be a strong steward of the business. It's also important to explain how you understand the community you wish to serve, with your location. You're the expert, and it will be helpful for the franchise overall. Franchise License Agreement The franchisor has a contract that they provide to franchisees in order to run the business. Before signing, make sure to read it over and understand all of the standards expected of your location. It's important to know what business standards the franchisor has for franchisees, and make sure you're comfortable with upholding the business. The next part of the video is not specific to a franchise business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the franchise business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful franchise business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis For a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money, in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? 3. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? Seven. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan? based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports, should be prepared, and how to prepare them. Finances. 
A large number of small businesses fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs try to start and operate a business without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses and multiply it by three. This is the amount of cash you will need to cover operating expenses for three months. Deposit this amount in a savings account before opening your business. Use it only for those purposes listed in the above list because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs to the total expenses for three months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for three months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month because of seasonal patterns and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection will show if the monthly cash balance is going to be subject to such factors as the following. Failure to recognize seasonal trends. Excessive cash taken from the business for living expenses. Too rapid expansion and slow collection of accounts, if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a franchise business, is a continuous learning process. Research your idea, and do as much as you can, yourself. But don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free franchise business plan gift. Go to the description below this video to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this.